Ready for launch. Check. So, if you're wondering why uh, camera's bouncing around a whole bunch, I got the chesty mount, cell phone, and uh, I got the Coleman mini bike. There we go. We got the Coleman mini bike out here in the desert. Doing its thing. Actually does really well in sand. I mean, the sand's a little wet right now, which is nice, but uh, these big fat tires back here do, do wonders in the sand. Got a buzzard up there. Waiting for my downfall. Right here we have the uh, Duramax uh, 7 horsepower uh, with the Governor Bypass. So, got to make sure to keep watching the revs, which is what I do right here. Uh, don't run it too long on the, on the higher RPMs. We have electric start to a push button. 
and then we have a tether kill switch. Alright, so let's go over this electrical on the on the Duramax. So before there is a, an electric start panel right here with a key start. Uh, we deleted all of that. Uh, that's your charge cable. Uh, that's your low pressure oil switch. Uh, these two guys are useless. Um, as well, uh, these two wires that come off of this little gold box here are also useless. So, to wire up this push button electric start, I think they're about $10 off of Amazon, bolts right onto your handlebars here, is one of the wires is going to go to this blue wire that comes off of your starter solenoid. The other wire is going to go to the uh, bottom of your solenoid right there where the hot goes. The other hot right here is going to go to the uh, Makita battery adapter or whichever of the power tool adapters you want to use or whatever battery you want to use. The negative, which here we have a switch or on and off so when you're not using it you can turn it off and that's on and that will go to your negative so what that switch does is it's off so it's disconnecting the power to the starter solenoid until you press the button and then it'll connect the power super simple to do And then here we have the, the Makita battery adapter. So I would find a better way to secure it than a single zip tie, but I was lazy. And that's what this little battery adapter does. So if you think you, these are used on power tools, so drills and whatnot, this battery's probably gonna work quite a while without a recharge. So part two to this, you gotta run a kill switch to it. So we ran one of the Mud Skipper engine kill switches, which is a tether kill switch. So, um, say you're going, this bike doesn't have any suspension, it's pretty fun. You wrap this around your wrist, or to you, and stuff gets a little crazy, you get ejecto cedoed, pop that off, it kills the engine. And then it also has the push button to stop it. So your hot wire of your kill switch is gonna run to your uh, to this black wire here that runs to the to the coil, and your other wire is gonna go to a ground over here. So you can ground it anywhere on the engine. And when you when that button gets pressed or the kill switch gets pulled. It, it grounds out the engine, stopping your engine. So that's how you delete all of that and you get electric start on a mini bike. Well, you still have your backup uh, pull start on here. You do have your, uh, what's called your electric start, which is quite nice. So you put it to choke, give it a little gas, push the button, turn off your choke. See if I can make it up this little sand hill here. Wow. Put some choke on.